Let's start. The project name is the view pager with static fragments. Let's see the project structure. Here we have the main activity, three fragments, a view pager adapter, and a view pager util class. In the UI, we have an activity underscore main dot XML file, which is the layout of the main activity. And UI files of the three fragments. In the activity underscore main dot XML file, the constraint layout is the root layout. This is the view pager. The linear layout is used to show the dot indicator of the view pager. The UI of the three fragments is simple. We have just shown a text view in them. Let's see the Java code now. This is the view pager adapter that extends the fragment state adapter. This adapter creates the fragments for the view pager and keeps their count. This is the view pager util class. This class is used to create the dot indicator of the view pager. The setup indicator function creates the dot indicator. And this function handles the dot indicator when the back button of the device is pressed. We have kept the fragments as they are. These are the imports. This is the main activity. These are the data members of the class. In the onCreate function, we have added our three fragments to an array list. Then we set up the view pager with adapter and dot indicator. When the back button is pressed, we call the set view pager back press function. This function handles the view pager when the back button of the device is pressed. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement a view pager with static fragments in Java Android. Thanks for watching.